A big piece of breaking news. This is concerning what intelligence sources are telling CNN News 18 when it comes to the dynamics surrounding the Khalistan nexus in Canada. Now, what we are learning is that there are tensions between uh, India and Canada which continue. Now, Canada's opposition has demanded answers and accountability from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, blaming India for the killing of separatist leader Hardeep Singh Nijar. Now, tonight, External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar will meet U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken in Washington, D.C. The on Going diplomatic row between India and Canada is likely to come up in the meeting. Meanwhile, Nijar's son has put the spotlight on the Canadian Security Intelligence Service and their role in his father's murder. He told that can he told a Canada media uh, media kind of portal that his father met regularly with Canadian intelligence officers in in the months before he was shot dead in British Columbia all the way back in June. Canada has been grappling with the issue of foreign interference. There have been uh, an investigation going on. Hearings have been going on in House of Commons. Uh, like everyone else, I'm also looking forward to transparency, accountability, justice, because sovereignty of Canada is important to all Canadians. Every country has the right to defend and protect their sovereignty. Canada is protecting its sovereignty and uh, it has the right that if there is a foreign interference, they need to, to need to be fully investigated and uh, justice, accountability and transparency must be restored into the process. So dialogue is the solution to move forward, I guess. But uh, for sovereignty, yes, every nation has the right to be respecting and respecting its sovereignty and protecting its citizens. One thing is very clear that in Canada, there are some people who want to support Khalistan, separatist state, or uh, proposed separatist state. There are also lots of people who oppose that. So making a statement, whether it may appease one group of people, but then at the expense of the other group of uh, individuals. So whether it is a political gain or loss, that depends on the individual how you perceive it. Not in that meeting. It was a um, uh, that was not a bilateral meeting. It was a meeting of a number of countries, and it did not come up in that meeting. But we have engaged with our Indian counterparts uh, on this issue and urged them to fully cooperate with the Canadian investigation. Right. And let's look at the entire role of the ISI, ladies and gentlemen. Our top intelligence sources are pointing to the fact that the ISI has had some role in Niger's murder. In fact, Niger was in connivance with the ISI when it comes to the entire Khalistani nexus that is now exploding inside Canada, getting political patronage from people like Justin Trudeau. Now, this is what intelligence sources have told CNN News 18. The Canadian police visited Rahat Rao's Surrey office. So that's what we are learning from top intelligence sources. Rahat Rao was questioned on Niger's murder for around two hours by the Canadian police. What has come out? Remember, the Canadian police has been very tight-lipped about this entire this entire murder which took place uh, when it comes to uh, Niger and the crackdown on the Khalistani nexus. Uh, now, uh, Rahat Rao was asked to delete posts from social media pages. So they're trying to the indication that's coming in that there is an entire attempt to hush up the entire investigation to ensure that no uh, you know kind of inputs come out from the police when it comes to the investigation into Hardeep Nijar's murder now knowledge on Nijar's killing is under the scanner this is uh, the this is the kind of investigation that the Canadian police has launched into Rahat Rao also what we are learning is that Rahat Rao runs a Hawala business remember this is one of the ways the Pakistan ISI is able to fund the Khalistan nexus in the west through this Hawala business. This is what intelligence sources have told CNN News 18. He organized a failed rally for Justin Trudeau. Remember, in the wake of Hardeep Singh Nijar's death, the Pakistan's ISI was in full gear to kind of push the entire K agenda to put pressure on India's diplomatic missions inside Canada. But what we are learning is that the, and you saw those visuals as well, ladies and gentlemen, the entire rally failed because about just 10 to 12 people were able uh, to be organized and not much pressure came in from the Khalistani nexus against India. India's diplomatic missions. So that is what uh, we are learning from top intelligence sources when it comes to Pakistan's role in not just trying to orchestrate the entire murder of Hardeep Singh Nijar, but also trying to hush up the entire matter as well. I'm joined by my colleague Abhishek Jha on the phone line. Abhishek, uh, now when this, when it comes to this entire uh, Pakistan angle, at the end of the day, uh, Rahat Rao 
could only be the tip of the iceberg. There has to be a massive nexus in place in, in a country like Canada, which has been given that level of political patronage, because we also saw the cover-up which came in after the murder of Karima Baloch. Well, we have seen uh, several of such cases happening in past also, where the Canadian authorities, uh, their action have been lax. Uh, and uh, two of the cases uh, that could one say, one was, of course, the Karima Baloch's uh, killing, that she died in mysterious circumstances. Oh, she was a very vocal opposition uh, for Pakistan's government. And uh, her family members, they still suspect that the Pakistani agencies were involved in that. Uh, then again, another is uh, the Chinese side, which had apparently meddled in the internal affairs of uh, the Canadian government. And Canada, uh, the Trudeau government had raised the issue. But later on, uh, they haven't done anything that could uh, you know, credibly say that they're, they're, these actions were against the Chinese side. Uh, in the case of India, without having any substantial allegations uh, or substantial uh, you know, evidences that they have not been able to give to the Indian side so far, there has been a massive allegation against Indian agency's role. And this is what something that was alleged on the floor of the House uh, of Canadian Parliament by the Prime Minister himself. So, uh, Indian side is eagerly waiting for some substantial, some credible allegation or the evidence that the Canadian side could give. And probably then, uh, the cooperation, the issue of cooperation of India or Indian agencies looking into those matters will come. Right.